Good morning from New York. And today, damage, faith, and love. Creates bad communication. Fake, symbolic, and highly defensive. Trump, in a nutshell. Trump poses as hardworking Americans. Kamala truly is a hardworking American all her life. His last attempts trying to say that Kamala is all about hate, all spewing hate against many Americans, of course, the more defenseless one. Kamala is calling him out. And he is running from another debate. He sounds like children who, being called out on bad behavior, try to say that the one calling them out is the one being bad for doing that. Meanwhile, it's true of them and not of the one calling them out. Uh, there is not much empathy or real awareness of the needs of Americans and what Trump has done or even tried to do. He says it's bad to call him out as being like Hitler. Hmm. Because Hitler was a mass murderer, and you have to uh, note that historically, Hitler at first didn't talk about or plan mass killing. Not publicly. He, uh, like a snake, just slithered around pretending to be a hard working German and war hero, whining about his claimed struggle, and only initiated the killings when he had the power to pull that off. Then he had to automate it because the soldiers, even high on a version of meth, which uh, kills empathy, were getting sick from killing men, women, and kids and tossing them into ditches. We have to remember to note the lies Trump tells routinely his attempt to overthrow a fair election and his concept of a plan for health care that in nine years he hasn't put together into a real plan. Hiding behind waving flags and work, working crowds into fever pitches is exactly what Trump is doing and exactly what Hitler did. Blaming bad conditions on the innocent and those who could not defend themselves is what Hitler did. Hate never cured a disease or fixed a problem. Uh, fear and posing, hiding behind positive symbols like flags and Bibles, he held up a Bible upside down and couldn't name a single verse in it isn't a mark of someone 
you can trust. Jesus said that such posings and covers were like cleaning only the outside of a cup, and that such behavior reminded him of whitewashed tombs, which looked beautiful, but inside had dead men's, uh, dead people's bones in them. It should be said that we are as sick as our love of mere symbols of need like money, which Jesus called the root of all evil. Trump, the poor rich guy, is spiritually impoverished, and his lust for power should make anyone cringe. It is a commonly heard phrase that power corrupts, that absolute power corrupts absolutely. When you try to overthrow a democratic government so you can keep power, you should never be allowed anywhere near the White House. Who falls for such sick deception? Who doesn't see that posing is more fake than flattering? Who? Well, those influenced by anger and fear which closes down uh, their ability to make rational evaluation. If your main motivation to vote, fear and hate, you might win for the moment, but you will also lose your better ability to even love yourself. For when you hate another, you hate a part of the human family, of which you are a very connected part. Losing that connection as a human being arms your humanity and your ability not just to give love, but to receive it. With malice toward none, a genuine caring rising in every word Kamala speaks, we must make our voices heard on her behalf. Because who we ally with says a lot about who we are inside, and allying with love can clean the inside of our cup. Damaged faith and love can be cured, but not without humility and the courage to love even your enemy, which Jesus also. This is not an ad for Christianity, just a reminder of what a caring person stands for, what they might say today about the political situation here in the USA, which is already great. Look up to the skies of promise, the towering love that humbles all eat. Till next time, follow love, not hate, and, and remember, that mere symbols never fixed a thing. Namaste, you.